we've come to the part in the course where we need to get our Backbone model and collection data onto a web page. And in Backbone, this gets done with views. We've also arrived at the more difficult part of the course as well, so I want to spend some time outlining how views work overall. Views contain the rules for displaying our model data inside of an HTML structure. What HTML elements should our data be placed inside of? That gets defined in a view. Does Backbone need to create these elements in advance, or are these elements already on our web page? That also gets defined in a view. What methods and time we're interacting with underscore in this course. Backbone gets its template functionality directly from underscore. Now Backbone does allow for the use of other templating libraries like handlebars or mustache, but for what we need to do, underscore will be fine. Another important view is render. Its job is to build out the HTML based on the rules defined in the view object. Maybe a single web page element like a div is what's being built out, or maybe it's the entire template block that's being built out. But whatever's being created, the render method is doing this based on the logic that it's been given by the view. And when render is invoked, that's the point when the model data gets displayed on a web page. We're going to create two views instead of one, one for our model and another for our collection. There are many ways to display data inside a single view, but if collections already exist inside your app, and they should if you're using Backbone, then it's a good idea to use one set of view logic for a single model instance and another set of view logic for a collection of model instances. Now, there is a part about using multiple views like this that can be confusing. The model and collection view are somewhat dependent on each other to do their jobs, especially the model view. It cannot do its job if the collection view doesn't do theirs. As a result of this, there will be some communicating between the two views as they execute their respective code blocks. Again, this is confusing, but is also part of an agreed upon backbone best practice. As just mentioned a few moments ago, a view defines what HTML elements will be displaying your data, which element the data will be loaded into. For my web app, the single model view will load into an article tag. Article is an HTML5 element. I believe we should be using HTML5 as often as possible, so this is what I'll be using. For my collection view, I'll be using a section tag, another HTML5 element that's commonly used as a wrapper for a group of article tags. So let's review what our code looks like at this point. FlowerApp.js file no longer has any add or remove methods and also has no console.log methods. It should have three elements inside of the array that's part of the flower group variable. That starts back. Also, inside of my JS models single flower model.js file, I've removed the initialize method. It was generating console.log statements that we no longer need. And also on my index.html page, routes, but there's no harm in placing it here until that happens. But we can't start talking about routes until our views are in place in our app. So let's get started on that. 